Okay, okay, we are back with more Bjork, Bjork, Bjork. Pagan poetry. I forget what pagan means. It's like like Mayans or something. I don't know. I don't know. Is it like ancient stuff? Um Okay, it's just talking about the billboards produced by Bjork and Marius de Vries. Let's check it out. It's not. I, I already opened it. You can't see it. I checked. It's not a titty. I mean, it's a titty, but it's blurred out. You can't see anything. This. Wait, wait. I'm going to keep it real. This like sound at the start could be like a trap beat if you chop it up. I want to sample that. I'm going to do it. The music's trippy, dude. Dude, I like her accent. I like when like you can hear like accents and music and stuff because I feel like I've heard some UK stuff, not like rap, but where it's like it sounds like an American singing or whatever, but then you hear them in an interview and they're British and it's like, "What? How do you how do you do that?" You know what I mean? Like but like hearing the accent, I think it adds just a uniqueness to it and something different cuz like, you know, most stuff I hear is just like American no accents or anything. Maybe like a, some country tailor with a t Tennessee accent, I forget where. But uh, yeah, I like her voice, dude. It is ominous. True. I don't know what interesting means. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Good one. That was Jesus Christ. Did you hear the power there? Yeah, no, I know she's not British, but like just I just talk about like artists in general. Um damn dude. Where am I? Sounds like it hurts. Oh, that's cool.
I feel like I need to be like really high to like really get this song if I'm keeping it real. All like the little things in the beat and stuff and just like the production with her vocals and stuff. <clears throat> I feel like if I was high as fuck, this shit would be like life changing. Like I feel like <laughs> it could change your perspective on life. It could save you from depression. Okay, maybe not that far, but like, you know what I mean? Like there's so many little things going on and it, it's so cool. Kind of like Lord, but on shrooms. Interesting. Yeah, I can kind of see that. When she hits, dude, when she hits her high notes, it's different from like what I'm used to hearing. Like, it's like you can hear her stressing her vocal and it creates, it's like a, just a strong vibration effect. You really hear it. It's giving coven of witches casting spells vibes. Are you, are you referencing American Horror Story or just in general like witches? <laughs> but I kind of see that. It's like a chant. A ritual. The music box adapt show. That was cool. Is this is this the music box one? Because I swear there's a music box in it. And I was at the start of the song, was it not? That's a music box. That's a music box with a lot of reverb and delay. <clears throat> Once today the song was originally titled Blueprint. Oh, which and she changed her mind, but there's Maybe some connection to the fact that Jay Z's blueprint was released the same year. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Huh. Two worlds colliding. Uh, just in general. Coven, best season. The Fleetwood. Um, I think I've checked out like one song. I know um, Stevie Nicks and Lana, the one collab. Uh, about sex act self. Okay, this is an essay. I. I'm not reading that. Can I get like a nice short comment? <clears throat> what does she say? Outro gives me chills. It's really cool. <gasps> oh my god, dude. Everyone's here debating and I don't got time for that, dude. <laughs> I don't got time for that. I like it. I think it was really creepy. I love her vocal style. The beat was also like, it reflected that creepiness as well. It's just like something's creeping up slowly and slowly. And at the end, I don't know, it's just really unique. Even the song structure was kind of cool. I like it, man. Vespertine. Vespertine, I'm assuming, right? Um, best album. Shit. Okay, I like it. Keep your delete, man. Keep. Blah, blah, rate it. Um, like I said, I feel like if I was high, this shit would be, like, even more crazy. For sure. And if my ear wasn't, like, kind of, like... I can't I can kind of hear out of my ear but it's just it's not entirely there right now. <laughs> it would be so much cooler. I'm going to give it an 8 6, dude. I'm going to come back to this one though because it sounds really trippy and I know I enjoy trippy shit. So right now man, 8 6, cool song. <laughs> 